The outside temperature is 91 Fahrenheit right now. Okay, so what I just did there was I used a K-thermal couple to check the temperatures on some different parts of the motor. Uh, it's 92 out right now. I ran it for about 45 minutes. Uh, I tested it under load for a while and stuff, and the engine didn't get too hot. I couldn't find any parts of it on the engine itself over 200 Fahrenheit right now. So that's pretty good. Uh, I'm sure it'll get a lot hotter when it runs for a while, but just testing it out to start with. I was able to overload it by running a hair dryer and a space heater at once. You could see it almost stalled out there. But, uh, you know, it's kind of expected to happen. I just wanted to see what kind of voltage jump it would get. Uh, that's all. That's just the test on the uh, Sportsman 4000 Surge 3250. It's the LPG 4000 propane generator. So just taking off the back side of the front plate that the power lines are on just to take a look at how it's wired inside to see if I needed to bother running two extension cords to a power strip or one to see if it uh, had separate power sources on it. So this is behind the plate. Looks like there's a guard back here. Take the four bolts off the front and then uh, pop this back plate off. It just has snap tabs and you can see behind the fuses for the AC trip. And the wiring, the common ground that goes to the ground screw and back into the motor. And then uh, there's the DC, the blue wires, the red wires, and the whites are all, uh, they're all bridged, so not sure. Anyway, that's what it looks like behind in case you're curious.